Hello everyone, welcome to a new Mono Black Coffers video. I have decided not to bring this deck to the uh, regional championship in Ghent in a few days, but um, still want to see its evolution with this new card. Um, sorry, not new card, this new build with Profane Tutor over Expedition Map. Or just, you know, Profane Tutor over other stuff. Like, uh, for example, here I don't see any copies of Shields with Edict. Only three Bowmaster, one Dothy with the other three in the sideboard. Uh, there is only one Kling. And the other card that I see here, main deck, is Stone of Eric. This is a cantrip, so, you know, it's not that bad. And it hoses down a few decks, or rather a few cards, against both Scam and Yogg. With the Stone of Eric in play, they, they won't be able to do their... Uh, Powerful combos like the Grief Unearthed, but just um, the Not Dead After All card is just good against this deck overall because your plan is to kill the creature. So for one mana saving that is actually, you know, not bad. And same thing with Yogg. Um, the list that came second in the challenge, the net deck, I made some changes. I caught one Coffers and one Herbore for two Swamps. And uh, yeah, everything else is uh, pretty classic. Uh, this Titan Blade in the sideboard, I love its addition. There's a lot of artifact here, no extra chalice and explosives like my list. There is even one Oblivion Stone, which I'm still, um, which I still have to f understand if I like it. There's no Pithing Needle, which was a card I didn't mind at the time, but yeah. Let's see, I'm excited to try this out. Hopefully it's gonna be fun. Mono Black. Vamos. Good morning, everyone. Uh. Okay, the run number one begins with the thought seize. Another change to this deck to this deck is the um, addition of um, is the addition of two copies of Inquisition of Kozilek. Which is um, which helps supposed to help you against the uh, combo matchups like Living End and Rhinos mostly. All right, thankfully we were in the place, we were able to do display. Already so so, but yeah, it's okay. Dothy Void Walker. Gonna push it down. It will want to attack with both. I mean, you could dash Ragavan, but you know, I only know one card. Third, I only don't know one card of their out of their hand, so I'll ac I'll accept what's going on here. And if they have dash Ragavan, I'll take it. Wait, I don't flip a discard spell. All right, well, March, actually, it's not bad. I'll probably play it here and kill my orc. So yeah, definitely <laughs> regret not having attack, uh, having attack with this orc here. Spend this and pass now. Bonjour, Daniel. Fine, and then you will dash Ragavan, and I'll kill it. I'll kill it dead. Now, Demolition Field in this matchup doesn't have too many uh, implicate applications, but, you know, there is a few cards that... Um, there's a few lands that I played out rather than, like Castle Locked Way mostly. I'd love to draw a land here. But most of the time, you just want to use this so that if you draw Cabal Coffers, it adds mana. Remember, Cabal Coffers adds mana as a third land. Okay. Sorry, I meant to say if you have a three land. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll let this grief resolve. They have no dead after all, so... I can't kill it. You need to draw the one ring and win the game in this matchup, so the Profane Tutor for sure make this matchup better, I think. Yeah, I think here I'm just gonna go Demolition Field, so that, you know, if I draw a couple of coffers, 
I'm... I can play the ring, then I'm gonna tutor with Profane Tutor. Yeah, now I've like... Every land is live, basically. For me to cast the ring. Which I'm gonna grab. I could have also grabbed Shieldred. But, you know, they could draw something to kill Shieldred, whereas the ring just wins. Oh wow, they actually concede. Yeah, the ring just wins. At 16 life, the ring wins. Against no no board, no cards in hand. Wanker combo. But obviously you have to build your game in order to for this to happen. And the Profit Tutor, definitely, I'm sure 100% that will make the scam matchup better. Super bad against the Fairy though. I don't think you're gonna have six discard spells against Cam. Doth is like okay, it even like blocks their Dothy, so maybe you can do something like this. Actually, probably something like this. The two life might matter. I think it's totally reasonable for them to concede there. I mean, obviously, you can keep on going, but you know, game one, even in a tournament, to avoid draws, I think it's. I think it's reasonable. Is this modern? Yes. Modern on magical line. <laughs> and yeah, the card the one ring is uh definitely very powerful. Kept in check by I mean first thing first it's mana cost of course, but also the as a bunch of powerful cards that gets played like Orc, Tishana, Spell Spear Spell Peers. All right, uh, I think I'll bottom one with these card. And we'll see. I'm not thrilled about having Dot against Gam, don't, don't get me wrong. All right. It's also like a card that's hard to cast. Because you have like 10 lands that don't cast it. But you have 16 lands that cast it, so should be fine. Usually you need uh, way more than 16 lands to cast this. But there's also the case of uh, Field of Ruin plus, um, plus Urborg that casts it. Okay, so here, if I'll be able to draw a fourth land, I will have the ring suspended. And I can't discard it, but yeah. I don't have the fourth land yet. 26 lands. Yes, you can find a whole list on the so social medias and also on... Um, Oh wow, if I played Dothy, I couldn't have scammed this grief. Yeah. It's okay though, like... I have the ring here, like... Taking 6 damage. And the ring is not like, game over, because they have Orcish Bowmaster. So it's not gonna be as obvious. But here, if this Dothy was a discard spell, it would have been hideous. Because if I curved out Fatal Push into Profane Tutor, and this discard spell would have been in my hand, they had no zero cards. So discard spells are equally bad as Dothy. Alright, there's also a world where I should have held it and grabbed uh, Domination. I didn't think about it. I thought about it now. Domination, my opponent has nothing and they have Castle Locked Wayne. If I go ring, what happens? I gain a turn, I draw three cards. I will probably lose the Dothy eventually. I think resetting with Domination is good. Like, don't get me wrong, it's it sounds like a good plan. But I could lose that game. Alright. Let's go Domination. It's gonna make my... Ooh, nice. 
It's gonna make my Dothy pick up bad though. And this this shielder does not exile with a void counter on it. I should have held the Dothy. I didn't think about it. Craig, thank you for the second month. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm playing Druswick Castle. I have the Field of Ruin, although I'm probably just doing something else here. Bobo, thank you for the sixth month. Ooh. Looks of subs today. I'm gonna grab the... So if I plus... If I pl oh, if I had a pithy needle, I could have needled the castle this way. If I plus, I'm playing around uh, this curse spell. If I minus and get ring, they could draw Thoughtseize and discard it. Real strat. Thank you, thank you, guys. Oh, welcome. I think I'm gonna grab the ring and they have like Molten Collapse or Bolt. I have the ring in hand. And if they discard my ring, I can just get like a engineering bridge or whatever. Oh, they play Takenuma. Molten Collapse the card, they have no cards in hand. Bingo. There's the hype train going on over there. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you, thank you, Dingo, for the eight month. Yeah, I just feel like Profane Tutor won both games, honestly. Definitely a super impressive start for testing this card out. Yeah, I'm gonna draw away the castle, and then I'm just gonna orc in a response that will take like a million damage. Like two from this, two from this. Unless they play a spell first. This is a mountain. Ooh, season pyro. So this comes into play. Let's see if they no. I'll orc. Uh do I wanna ping? Yeah, sure, I'll ping you. Now you draw two cards. And I think I'm gonna kill the spyro. This is one of the reasons why Spyro doesn't see play anymore. It's really bad against Orc. A very difficult name. Oak, thank you for the fourth month. Welcome to the stream. All right, so first I'm gonna Actually, first I'm gonna Inquisition of Koza like you. Okay. Then I'm going to blow up your castle. And then I'm going to march to grief. Or I can also not do that and play around Shieldred. Now I'm gonna gain so much life that Shieldred is whatever. Actually, I don't know how much life I'm gonna gain. Six. It's decent. So I got to 15, even if they shield it, I'll have to take like 8 damage next turn, it's okay. Looks like they conceded. Alright. Again, super quick win, and mostly on behalf of the fact that we always had the right card on turn 4, thanks to suspending Profane Tutor. Stamination or the One Ring. And our opponent doesn't have counter spell. They can only interact on the um, on hand. Like they scam the grief, but that we had a profit tutor suspended that won the game. Hello guys, thank you so much for all the subs this morning so far. We had a good start. This definitely is a deck that uh, so for the RC there's like a main event on Saturday the RC, and then on Sunday there's the classic, which is still like a uh, a good event. And I am bringing Mono Black. As a backup plan, here are all my beta swamps. 12. Actually, I don't have 12, I have 10. I have to buy two. I will buy two. Because I used to play 10, but this list is 12. I mean, I guess the original list had 10, but they had four uh, Urborg and four coffers, so. 
I've had those for two swamps. What's the plan against Amulet? You have this Field of Ruins, plus you can go Karn, Lycomata Coding, or Karn Bridge. But it's bad, like, I'm not gonna... I, every, every, every deck in Modern has, uh, has some terrible matchups. Since the Fury ban and up the Beanstalk ban, Modern is similar to Pioneer in that, in that regard. Not, like, as uh, bad, you know. It's still a better format overall, but it definitely got, you know, a lot of magic like that, which is not the magic I like, but it is what it is. What are the bad matches or coffers? Living Gand, Amulet, and Burn, mostly. Um, I think I'm gonna pass. I just go orc. I prefer needle and stone instead of stone brain. I I don't know. That's that's fine. I don't have any preferences. Have I seen the new ley line? I have. I have. But no. I don't know. I never liked mono green anyway in pioneer. Yeah, I'm just going Orc so that uh, this Flame of Anor is going to have a harder time. Missing land drops. In our 26 lands deck. Okay. The matchup is, is, is tough. It's not an easy matchup. Position of Cozy Leg definitely helps it, as in my opponent now just doesn't have the combo. We keep orcs or board them out against rhinos. Usually board them out, but this deck doesn't have that many cyber slots, so we will see. I mean, I used to have two collective brutality, three exp three chalice, two explosives, so I was siding in a lot. Here, you definitely have way less cards to sideboard in. I'm gonna play Orc. Opponent has this Slim of Honor, which I want to blank. And they also have Subtlety, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have evoked it, but maybe they evoked it, that would be insane, you know? You try not to tutor for lands. You have twenty six lands. Eventually, you draw them. If you have, if you don't have lands, it means you have spells. So that's fine. Tutoring for lands is usually a a negative play. Oh wow, they drew fire ice. Well, that's powerful. I wish I didn't play orc. Okay. Again, this is the reason why I don't play for coffers. You just don't want to have a spot where we draw coffers early. In in in. In the situation, this is definitely something that happens. Like you draw four mana ring, and you can't cast it because you have coffers, which is a card that does not mana. Nice, nice island with that volcano, with that, how do you call this thing here, Vortex? Pretty sure there's a name for it. I don't want to attack. Or maybe I do. No, I don't. Play Flame of Anor.
Okay. End of turn. Uh, sorry, they didn't do anything. Wow. Uh, upkeep. I will fill the ruin that. Grab a swamp and then play cling to dust. End of turn. Actually, I'll play cling to dust now in case of Merc the Regent. Main deck. They don't have endurance. Post sideboard. They may bring in endurance, which makes the cling to dust a little bit awkward. Because when you go cling to dust and the endurance their graveyard, it feels like. It feels very bad. And you have to do the swamp thing because with the, if I draw another swamp, Kabak Coffers is on. Tutor is on next turn, although I don't know what I'm gonna grab. Field of Ruin against um, in this matchup is awkward because you basically like give them a mana. I really don't know what to grab. I could grab Urborg. I guess I'm gonna do Urborg, yeah. It's gonna fix the Cabal Coffer, actually improve it. Could be a better card. They can also Tishana, the Profane Tutor, suspend. But then if you draw land, they can slam Ring and win the game. If you let Ring at 18 life, you win the game. As easy as that. Remember, you can Tishana, not... Because I, I, I was at FNM and, you know, even the... The store owner didn't know it, so let me ref let me repeat it for you if you're listening. Um, if you're playing Tishana Pro Tide Binder, your opponent has Profane Tutor with one counter on it, and Upkeep, there's two trigger. One trigger is to remove the counter, you don't do anything there, and then one trigger is to cast it from the Exile Zone, okay? And that's what you trigger, that, that's you wanna uh, Tishana Tide Binder. It's not intuitive or anything, but that's how it works. Anyway, yes, get this Urborg draw. And again, I'm not thrilled to tutor lands in my 26 lands deck, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's go for this Urborg. And now I have five mana here. I'll probably play this ring. And then I'll suspend Profane Tutor. And if they have, if they have Tishana, I can just march to Tishana right now. I won't be drawing a card or anything, but I will. Um... Of course, negation pitch subtlety. Mm -hmm. Suspend combat. I'm gonna attack. I know they may have out. Uh, they have outburst super bad. Yeah, probably they have Outburst, actually. Because they didn't hardcast for, so they have probably have Outburst. If they don't, I'll be definitely regretting those two damage. If they do, that's probably nice that they didn't attack. It is not nice that they have two Rhinos in play, though. There are three cards and one is Subtlety. Hello, CJ Link. It's a little bit of a downside of having so many profane tutor, right? E e e e e let's attack. And then I'll, um, I'll probably suspend, yeah. I think it's fine. My march is big enough anyway. Suspend another tutor and pass. Maybe four is too many. You can play like three. I don't know. But you really want to draw it against Gam. Or just in general, you want to draw it on turn two and even slower matchups. 
I think it makes sense to have an Eldrazi, though. Like, main or side. To go along with your tutor. <sighs> mm, I don't know about that. But it does nothing. One journal twister. Probably should have marched in upkeep. I didn't have a stop. All right. Let's go full. I'm dead too. No, nah, no, no. I'm not dead to a counter here. I know they have subtlety and yeah, and four mystery cards. It's so many mystery cards. We definitely upkeep this march. Okay, mystical dispute, sure. Okay, so we have a profane tutor coming in next turn, and I can grab either damnation or the one ring. I think I'm gonna go with damnation. I think I would do one ring later. Or, oh no, yeah, subtlety. Oh wow. Profane Dealer pitch subtlety. Okay, well, I need to top deck then. Oh, nice. Very good, March. Hello, Cornflakes. Gain eight up to ten I go. And that's out for two. Opponent's gonna bring me to six. And then later I have another profane tutor. Though so suspending it was very important earlier. I think I'm gonna grab a uh, Karn. Sure, to get a subtlety, but yeah, I think it's okay even if they have a subtlety. The Karn. Minus. What do I grab? I think. Unfortunately, I can't grab the um, eight drop. What are my options? Is there a Titan Blade? How about I get an explosives for zero? And then crack it in my opponent's upkeep. I think it makes sense. This way I'm playing around the uh, outburst. Yeah. I could have also gotten the one ring. Maybe that would have been safer. Okay, what do I want to go after? Uh, I don't know. In upkeep, I'm gonna sacrifice the rhino. Sorry, kill the rhino. 
This way I play around the Shana's tight binder. Pearl of Manor is a standard set. I have seven lands. I should be lethal with Walking Ballista. They possess you my... Swamp. I think I'll go for Walking Ballista. Upkeep, I will uh, shoot them. How do you recognize if it's a commander set or not? I don't know. <laughs> I guess if the card look good, it's a standard set. If they have infinite text and they refer to multiplayer as their commander cards. All right. We were able to win game one, which is definitely tough, but you know, the, the Profane Tutor once again pulled their weight. So two void walkers decent. I, I usually like to side all of this in. Try and cut these Orkish Bowmaster. I keep all the pushes in. I want to remove a cling to dust. It's better against endurance, but I don't know if opponent can bring an endurance. Or I'll cut one push. I find March to be slightly better than push anyway. I didn't need chalice and explosives makes the the card worse. Okay, round, sorry. Okay, game number two against Rhinos. My hand is awful. <laughs> so bad. All right, all right, much better. This is much better. Wow, nice, nice end. I'm bottoming Karn. The land thought sees what you got. Well, actually, suspending crashing footfalls, it's a real play. Although I may exploit it if they suspend two of them, their hand isn't the greatest. If they suspend two, I can blow them up together in the same turn, in the same upkeep before they can do a single attack with an explosives. Let's see if they do. All right. You hope they print more companions in MH3. I believe companions of field mechanic. I don't think they will uh, revisit it. It was maybe fine if they did it immediately after, after the nerf or something, stuff like that. But I think too long passed. And also, like if they make it, it's gonna be probably too weak because they will like. I don't know. Okay, it looks like they drew a shardless. Oh my.
And by the way, the Sunken Citadel, some people haven't asked me that yet, but usually the people, they do. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, you would curve out one, two, and now it would be awkward to have it in the end, stuff like that. Okay, you have one card. Man, this thoughts is... Uh... Sure. Six six down to ten, and then I can go explosives from the deck, blow it up all in upkeep. If you break this draw step, I think I can clean everything you got. Yeah, companion super fun in draft. I agree. Nice. Okay, so I'm blowing up everything. Oh, that's not true. I can't count. Hmm. Do do do. You think Blink about Conference is right if you draw another? Mm, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right, Elite. Defect 8, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream. All right, what if I go Chalice? What if I go Chalice here? Okay, so I can also go Explosives. I go, I think Explosives, but I don't play it. Or maybe I do play it. What's 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 the worst? Now I think that can have Flame of Anor. So I don't play it. And then I go rain this turn, fall, I put in place the crashing food falls. Next turn, I go explosives and in upkeep I blow them all. Yeah, I think that's better than going chalice. Because the reason with chalice is that that 4-4 four four in place stays. I guess it shouldn't be a problem for me to draw an answer to the 4-4. Four four. Yeah, let's get, let's, get, let's get chalice. It shouldn't be a problem to answer the 4-4. Four four. Mm-hmm. Let's go ring. Draw. So we got chalice and pass. You need to take care of Tishana. They have zero cards in hand. Let's hope they don't draw it. <laughs> Yeah, Tishana is also good against Chalice. Like, if they draw Tishana next turn, they can resolve this one. Not this one, but the next one. Okay, this turn is Fog. The next turn I have a, a Karn. I obviously said it, I mean, I said it in Explosives. Also plus this Chalice Explosives. Doesn't go well there, but let's see. How does one contain the void in a chalice? Can you drink the void from the chalice? Why do Rhinos hate it? I think those questions are too deep. I'm not ready to uh, take them at the moment. But thank you for your for your question. Um, mm -mm. How about I go Karn plus on the ring? I think it's a great play. Bridge. That that could also be a great play. But I like this other great play more. I don't think that much can go wrong. And then I'm also feel the ruining a land. Just to do something. Uh, nah, it sucks. Let's just waste this mana and pass. All right. I want to also point out how important was this fight out push. Like, pushing down a Rhino token it was, was super important. So, like, these removal spells maybe are not the greatest in this matchup, but they do, they do their part. See, again. Are they going to untap? Because they could have Mystical Dispute. 
I probably should have just not. What if I go tap the ring? I need to try not to lose. What can they have that can make me in a tough spot here? What if I go uh, Cityscape Leveler? Watch mine is S. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Cityscape Leveler. Sundering Titan. I think it's bad against the Subtlety and against a Mystical Dispute. I have two cards in hand. Let's play cards that can't be countered. Or rather, abilities that can't be countered. Even if they counter this, should be okay. I'm not drawing with the ring right now. Let's see what happens next turn to draw with it. On this counter is your profane tutor. It's not great if it happens. Do I want to draw with the ring? I probably don't. Let's just untap. Taking two instead of three. And then attack with this, kill that. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Anyway, let's attack with this first. Kill that. Yeah, Titan seems good. I'll go to three. I guess if I go Titan, if I go Thoughts, is I could die to Fire Eyes. We'll see. Let's see what happens now. What's this? Tishana? Sure. Sure. Another reason to not do the Field of Ruin is that. You can tri enable revolt. Doesn't block them. Okay, I think now it's time to go for the one ring. So I'll draw first. There is no card that can stop the one ring. I guess for some negation. I want to go to three and play the ring. It's probably fine. Yeah, let's go to three. I can't have double fire eyes. Unlucky to draw the fourth crushing footfalls. Anyway, let's go grab the. Actually, if I go, if I go Titan, they lose. Uh... Oh no! I died to do a ring. Okay, let's go. Let's go ring. Kevin, thank you for the Prime sub. And welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, you can, you can go. I don't need to do anything. Do I want to suspend the tutor? Nah, whatever. Titan would have left with zero lands, sure, but I died to the ring, I'm at three life. I had the ring on three counters. Okay. Good start so far. Alright, I should take a bottom break. Come back for round number three. Actually, I should probably mulligan, since I know he's an, always on blue-white. Whatever. Oh wow, that's a, that's a land at the end. Or just play Yager Titan. No. So then you punt and you're miserable and you can't recover because you lost a match to a mistake. 
I think I'm actually going for Orkish Bowmaster here rather than Profane Tutor. I need to clock them. Why not play with Questing Druid? I don't have any tr I have reasons, but like, I have played it recently with Questing Druid a lot. And I don't know. It was fine, but not, not special, you know. And also. I have no I have no answers. I know you guys think that I have the answers. Actually I don't have any answers. I just click the buttons dead and light and register a random deck that sparks me joy at the time. That's usually what happens. You think Coffer is better than Tron now? Yes. Maybe this Profane Tutor could have get me Karn and everything, but whatever, my hand is so unplayable. These five cards are awful. Let's bring in some things. Probably I'm, I'm happy to bring in the ring. Yeah, that seems fine. Is there is there anything I wanna uh like walking ballista? No, okay, let's go. Still have Eric. Okay. You gonna keep a ring in the sideboard. Hmm. I feel like they always exile the ring anyway, so Karn will always get the ring anyway. Do you not want to learn or master Yogg or Titan? I don't have time. Learn a deck. Just play once in a while on stream and that's it. Competitive magic just, you know. <laughs> you have to have so much free time to actually do those things. And for your RC, it's, to me at least, it's not worth it at this point. You know, not everyone is the same, and that's the beauty of it. If I was qualified to the Pro Tour, and the Pro Tour was modern, then sure, but, you know. The Pro Tour is Pioneer. <laughs> okay. Do I want to go? Yeah, I think I'll go Dothi over for Faint Tutor. Now I want to learn and master editing. We've been uh, working on that Mangoes workshop video for so long now, and it takes a lot of time to edit. I We definitely underestimated how long it takes. And, you know, hopefully the video will come out this week. We recorded it at this point. It was like last Tuesday. You know, let's, let's switch priorities. It's fine, you know? <laughs> Not my job anymore to win uh, a magic tournament with relatively low stakes. Okay, if I draw land to play card, maybe there's a chance. We'll see. I guess I could have stolen the land. No, that's not even true. All right, I guess you shouldn't play Polluted Delta in your uh, Blue Room Merktide. Because if my opponent was playing uh, Polluted Delta over... When I was playing Polluted Delta over... Oh, I was supposed to play Subtlety there. Which is so poor, though. 
it's really unwinnable. I don't even know how I managed to win it. Uh, the in Pisa. I had I had um in that in that one I had Emrakul though. But I mean I didn't even draw lands this game, so whatever. Maybe maybe I should cut the polluted delta from Merktide for exactly this spot. Gigantha? Hmm, what's Gigantha like? What's Gigantha doing? It's just, I don't know. It's so rough playing Ragavan against. How that could work? Yeah, yeah, we could have sold Ulti for free. Yeah, yeah. If this is Zoo, then you know Zoo is probably the best matchup for this deck. No, it's not Zoo though. Hinti. Let's look at our next stubborn denial. You saw me at the Willex playing on Nazim in Modern WMC. Yeah, that was Modern uh, World Magic Cup 2016. We top forward with a Nauseam, a Nauseam Infect, and a Lantern Control. Three dead decks. What did you reveal? Lion Bolt. Lost to Belgium, who had a uh, Gracial Brand. That Belgium player just invented Gracial Brand. Very big brain. Ringo. You don't. You don't have force of negation. Oh wow, they discarded Oval Chase Daredevil. What? That was surprising. Shadows <laughs> Pera. Ooh, they can remove Indestructible from Ring and Shatter it. I wonder if they have any of that. Inti Shredder combo, ooh, that's true. I didn't even think about it. That's cool. Probably won't matter against my powerful deck, but yeah, that's cool. What was the green for? Usually it were might, and there's a saga. Allora. How much mana do I have here? 5, 2, 7. 7 mana. Let's draw the ring first. I wanted, I consider going um, Shield Grid. But I decided not to. I think I just want to take another ring protection turn. Thought seizing is weird because you have the um, you have the in team. I mean, what can I do? What is gonna? How do, I, how do I win this game? Is that Sundering Titan? Oh, Oblivion Stone also, maybe eventually. Start with Thoughtseize. So you're a VLAN. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
It's the worst Thoughtsies of history. It actually gives them cards. It's a Thoughtsies that doesn't take anything away, but only gives. The worst Thoughtsies I've ever seen in my life. Actually funny. I wish I screenshotted it. No, no, it's not what Mana Shock myself. It's a Mana Shock myself trigger Inti. <laughs> it's even worse. Well, Mana Shock yourself, it's normal. Like, that happens all the time. When you have, like, no spells in end. But it managed to be worse than that. Well, I'm gonna take two opponent. <laughs> opponent draws a card. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. They also looted with Shredder. So it was one mana. What well, mana take two and your opponent draws two cards. Yeah, the new land from uh, Ixalan, I don't like it in coffers. I just like to curve out one, two. I don't like a land that doesn't let you curve out. Might be a good spot for an ensnaring bridge. I have like six cards in my hand. Okay, now I have a lot of mana. Probably is this Oblivion Stone? I don't know how much mana I have. I should count, but I'd rather wait for Magical Land to count for me. Next one, I have exactly Karn plus Stone mana. Sure, again, I'll let Magical Land count for me. Say, I think I have exactly 12 mana. 4 più 3 più 5, 12 mana, wow, I do have exactly. Allora, facciamo, dai. Alright, let's go Karn. Ooh, Questing Druid. I played Blue Black Ogak. I'll play Legacy in the future right now. I'll focus on Modern. Can I eat top three? No, I have to crack it immediately now. It's okay. Welcome everyone. Leo Dickinson, welcome with the raid. Sumo raid. What does that mean, guys? Please enlighten me. What do you mean with Sumo Raid? Is there like, are you guys, is there some some, some, some game of Sumo? Or are you just watching Sumo? How does, how does it work? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Okay, so I have to crack this stone here. Oh, streamer name is Sumo. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were watching. Yeah, you were watching the side, right, see? You're day 10 out of 15. I'd love to know more about Sumo rules. Like, Bobo, and I thank you for the Prime sub. I felt like you subbed yesterday, too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How does it... Yeah, I definitely want to know more about the rules. You God blast me. You revealed Bolt. Hmm. Oh, nine off. Testing for Ghent. At this point, I'm just out here making content. I think I locked on my deck. This is gonna be 
super medium blue white uh blue remark died hoping to draw well and be on the play with turn one raga if an opponent doesn't have it you win it's a simple sport okay what's simple about it what's the goal you just have to push the other person out of the ring Okay, opponent has revealed a lightning bolt. I don't know if also this lightning bolt is, is playable. It's pretty confusing right now. Opponent has played this card. What is this card? Legendary Land Swamp. Oh, it's Shinka. Madonna che tils disegni de merda, porca Eva. Okay. If anything but the sole of your feet touches the ground, you lose. If anything but the sole of your feet touches the ground, you lose. Oh, so your body. Okay. If you get pushed out of the ring, you lose. Okay. Well, that's total of six. My opponent has stopped out. These things are all exiled. I have six cards in hand. Yeah, let's just draw with the ring and go to four and then win. Muy bonita. The domination. Allora. How much mana do I have? Magical line, tell me, please. Uh, do I want to go domination, actually? I, mean, I really want to know how much mana do I have. I have 15 mana. Yeah, I'll probably want a good domination. Let's go domination. Let's go, Shelly. Your hair touching the ground. Can't you, like, cut your hair? Gain 10, sorry, 6, up, up to 10. Inquisition of Kozlek. Uh, do I want to go Thoughtseize? Yeah, let's go Thoughtseize too. Uh, do I want to do something else? I guess I can bolt this shielder for four to gain four life. How stupid is that? I don't think it's that bad. Probably I'll just pitch this profane tutor too. Yeah, Shelly, you're gaining me four more life. Go. Oh. That's the beauty of playing this deck. You make the most nonsense play, because who cares? You have a ring and shield, really. You just draw absurd amount of cards, have infinite mana. It's just, it's so much fun. This magic is called Modern on Magical Line. Opponent is about to take 4 damage from their bubbles. Dos daño. And dos daño again. Like, they drew 39 cards by turn 7. They drew 17 cards more than me. A block, but before damage, I'll shock the Ragavan. 
You block first because some people make mistakes and bolt before this thing deals the damage. So with eight lands in play next turn, we have eighteen mana. I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to count. I don't want to count. Is Shieldred Ring Splinter Twin? No, this is Splinter Twin, the One Ring. It's one card Splinter Twin. Shieldred is just a filler. Like Shieldred is, uh, what's the saying in it in English? Imagine not having to speak a different language. In English, so let's see, what does it say? Mirror for larks. No, I guess it's not exactly. Let's see if they have a snare. Let's see if they have a, a traduction in English. No, right? You don't say that, right? Hmm. I think, okay, 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 okay. Here is the thing. Okay, in English, I think it's don't make him make fool of you. He's just window dressing. You say window dressing. It's so much worse than Italian, though. I know that translating things in Italian is not going to work. I have uh, spoken <laughs> two languages before. Window dressing. I know, but it's so much worse than specchietto per le allodole. All right, so what am I playing against? Uh, Teamer, Graveyard Engine stuff. Mm, so we have Dotty Woodwalker. He's the cherry on top, yeah. This is distraction. You look at Shorter, be like, oh, Shorter is busted, 100 euros, easy. But no, nah, it it's all about the ring. It's all about the ring. What do I cut? Three cards I need to cut. Maybe this, I cut the, the Thoughts eases. Yeah, let's cut the thought seasons. Icing on the cake is nice, though. I have to say, icing on the cake. What does it even mean, icing? Icing. No, it's like scritto. Icing. It's not. Oh, I thought it was ice. Ah, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I know what that means now. I understood that saying now. All right, this one is expensive, but yeah, you know, it's fine. I thought it was the ice. I'm like, why would you put ice on the cake? I don't know. Tommy. Thank you for the prime so Tommy. Oh, nice. Inquisition of Kozilek. Look at this. Look at this two damage we're saving. Opponent, I've played all your cards before and I don't like them anymore. It's like. Uh, but it really. It's really whatever. I think I'll take Questing Druid. I used to love everything going on here. I think I'm just happy to send the Dothy to the graveyard. I think actually to the Exile Zone. Oh wow, they don't God Blast it. Weird. It's just the fastest Mono Black Coffers League of all time. Only two O's. One hour and 13 minutes, and we are around number five. What more can you ask? That lands the spells. Ooh, that's a... 
that's a brand and six gamer that's gonna be a steam vents and a brand und six eccola lì va bene that's gonna make my deletion fuel plant much worse I think I'm gonna make this desperate play. That's a four for one, ladies and gentlemen. Rhinus is just too good against my deck, I think. Because the Wishon's Field is excellent against. Whoa, and I got Mountain. No way you get Mountain there, opponent. Just take the damage. Who cares? Let's start stone raining you now. That was a definitely a mistake. If you're watching this video, make sure to never fetch basic lands against coffers. Never. It's always gonna be a mistake. They will immediately regret. That's so why I killed the Vren, because this basically is your your most working plan. Able is really good. Not today, Jones. Thank you for the prime sub. I think if I go Karn, I'd already have a great play, so. I'd love to have Needle in my sideboard. That's when I could have gone Karn, Needle, the Teferi. Instead of Curse at Totem. Here's a card I dislike. I dislike thoroughly. Wholeheartedly. You fated gifted the sub. Thank you, fated and welcome storm. Thank you guys. How's it going? Is that a creativity? Is that a creatividad? No. Okay. Can I draw a couple of coffers? A couple of coffers? Profane? Tutor. Not good. Carno? Do you like this version or the maps more? Mm, that's a good question. I mean, tried this deck for the first time. Perfect Tutor has been uh, very good so far. But, you know, map also was good for me in the past. So, can't say. As I often say, I just click the buttons. Ooh, preordain. Preordain. Mm -hmm. Am I going to cite out Profane Tutor in this matchup? Feels bad to do so, but I guess. I guess we must. I just can't afford to go turn 2 Tutor, they go turn 3 to Fairy. Eat my Tutor. Bad because they play four for sure. I think that's just way too bad. What did you bounce? Oh, Fable. Wow, you bounced Fable. No, Vrenun six.
Bukharn. Those are explosives. What's that? Binding? Cost two mana binding. Please top two. Thank you. We'll go get explosives. Is that the best? It's all right. Maybe I was supposed to get um, the ring or something. Uh, the problem is now they have this like brand six, so. My early plan is not working anymore. Who wasn't to play with the Ryan Six to Fairy Curve and my deck doesn't pressure? They will win the, these games. Creativity gets attacked, but not in this way. Lots of subs today. Devoid Caller, thank you for the tier one sub. So welcome to the stream. Okay, to go to, to seven. Zeben. They have all the types. Yeah, I think Fable is okay against Gam, sure. Have you watched my last um, my last uh, Merkdale video? I definitely had Fable there. Probably play something similar to that one in uh, Sofia. See Sofia, like that's what you call in um, Ghent. My one of damnation is exiled. I'll, I'll concede. I mean, as always, let's bring in the Dothies. Let's take out the Profane Tutors. Anything else I want to bring in? Yeah, probably a ring. Same thing as before. They usually, like, always Lila and Binding the ring, so Karn gets it anyway. Some of Eric is probably very poor. I won't say to skip leveler. No. And is very good. Deco Leite, I think, for the Prime sub. Yeah, so basically you want to have uh, good cards in hand, but also some decent card in the side. Because this game definitely go long. Put them most to six, and their hand isn't the best. I just go Bullmaster end of turn and start applying some pressure. Because if you saw, my opponent ended that game on seven life. So if you can deal like some damage with your orcs, you can definitely like they ended the seven life with me without me touching them. So they just well, by themselves went to seven life. And this deck, you know, one of its weaknesses doesn't have pressure, so just yeah. I like Dothy here, it's nice. So uh probably just go Thoughtsies Dothy. Or do I wanna go Dothy Thoughtsies? I could probably go Dothy Thoughtsies. It's unlikely they have lining bolt. 
against me. And if there was an Archon, I could have played the Dothi. Because I can exile this with a Void Counter on it. <sighs> I have to I have to hold mana up here. Actually, I may go for March. Sorry, Demolition Field. Because if they want to go Creativity on the Dwarf, I can March it. Yeah, maybe it's not a bad idea. Uh, not the bunny. I don't like those cards. If I get to make them play creativity thinking they have a window now, then they don't have it anymore in hand for the future windows. Like they have to take three damage with Buddha's foothills now. What's best for amulet cyborg in current meta? You mean for mono black versus amulet? I think the best tool is um I think the best tool is um, Ashiok, Dream Render, I believe it's the name. Perfect, now Field of Ruin will start uh, destroying lands. I think a combination of like this curse spell, Chalice, and Ashiok is, is alright. I'm just gonna grab uh, maybe Dwarven Mine here. Wow, planes, no way. Why did you get planes? I feel a run in play. I'm happy to go Bowmaster here. To apply more pressure. Oh wow, this turns cold. <laughs> okay. Okay, my opponent is at five live, and again, you know, it's not that our deck is aggressive or anything. Oh, nice. It's not that our deck is aggressive or anything, it's just that they take like a million damage from their lands, so you just, you don't need that much to actually kill them. Plastic creativity on the draw. I mean, grant the point. It didn't draw very well, and etc. But like plastic creativity on the draw, just get like attacked by even like the most weaker creature are actually a threat when all your lands are tapped and stuff like that. Anyway, last game of this league, super fast league. Oh, so me what I have. Let's go.
Do I have Sundering of a Leveler? I think I think not. I think I'd rather have Sundering in my sideboard. I've, I've explained it earlier. Having sideboard in, and you're in the Titan in your sideboard is like having four. It's rare that you get Cityscape Leveler, so that's why this this split. Okay, let me Let's go. Put us too many good cards going up to sixty one. Land the preordain, okay. If two field of ruin, although I see that they play two basics, it's gonna make it a little bit worse than game one. Okay, I'm ready to Inquisition because I have to take the Rana Six first. I can't. You bought them both. There's no point in taking Brennan Six now. I'm just taking other cards now. I took Bolt in case I drew like a. I guess Dothy, but I can't cast it. Rastodon. Imagine you have one land, you want to draw land, you draw the Rastodon. <laughs> That's funny. No, oh, they drew a land. Okay, but it's not fetch land. Spring 6 doesn't actually have do nothing here. I'm definitely not blowing up a land. Come on, deck. Give me land. Give me land, pretty please. Well, then for the win. Now. Take it. Let's play ring. Draw una cartita. I mean, they had preordain. They believed. They bought and bought him with it, and then it's never saw another fetch land. Basic planes. Okay, do you have a do you have a fable to fear? What do you have? Oh, binding. That's nice. Yeah, as I told you. Against the land binding deck, I wanna I always bring in Karn because Karn can always get binding. Oh, I just play ring. I wanna draw land. The Uber tender. Land for Mangu. Go. Remember, Karn can go get the, the ring exiled under the binding. That's how the rule work, rules work. And unfortunately, I don't have a um, pithy needle on my side. March. Coffers doesn't have the mana at the moment. Very awkward, but it is what it is. Let's play car and let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't want to get Luka Meta Coating. I'm not even afraid of that Rhine Emblem. They don't have lands. Maybe it should be. I think Luka Meta Coating. If they have Lightning Bolt, that's okay. Alright. Uh, it's okay, I'll let you emblem, but 
even if you draw a fetch land now and have another brand, it's not that your spells are like that good anyway. So you'll get the emblem. You drew a fetch land, that's good. Now you can emblem that, play new brand, return fetch land to hand, and then you have reprieve up. Hopefully it doesn't matter, but you do have reprieve up, thanks to the brand emblem. I wish I had Pithinito. If I had Pithinito, this game would have been locked up, but I have Cursed Totem instead. In March, you need black mana. It's not free. You need black mana, even if you pitch. So they have the emblem. And they have a landing end. It's called Intar. Now, on top draw. Let's draw with the ring first. I'm looking to draw Urborg. Draw Thoughtseize, okay. Okay. <laughs> I have seven mana, so. I'll start with Swarm so that coffers next turn adds mana. Okay, let's do this. Let's go Thoughtseize on Brandon 6. And then what? Then I want to try and kill your Vren. How? I'll go Vren pitch. Sorry, I'll go March, pitch one and two. Asked. Done. You go reprieve. Then I'll go march on Vren. And now you do have the Vren 6 emblem, but you have no more Vren 6. You discarded this. Yeah, yeah. I can also go Karn and and destroy a land of yours. Or I can go Karn and destroy a land of yours. I think this game is like unlosable. Let's just do that. There's a word where they go exactly on top land creativity, but even then it's whatever, right? Yeah. We want to pitch shield red and blow up a land. Maybe that's better. Because I can do this. And then I can blow up a land. That's probably better. I'll blow up a stomping ground in case you have another random six in your hand. Next turn, I can even blow up these two lands. And I'm still 17. No, we don't have to almost script. 
all right but like yeah this game is impossible to lose I'll... sure i'll begin by stone raining you twice I thought this might have been the fastest league ever with coffers, but I think with this with this last match, it's not gonna be anymore. Yes, we've got a TV team. We have Ren and Six Emblem in play. Definitely very strange that you have five permanents and one of them is your is an emblem. Right, let's go coffers. Let's add the mana. I have seven. I can draw the ring. Let's play Karn. And blow up another land. You have made out of planes first, whatever. Yeah, this is not proper sequencing. How are the game going? It's good. Are we we four one. We lost to blue eye control, which is a, a bad matchup. And also, I guess my draws weren't great, but... Alright, GG. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stand by the choice of uh, Triumph of Tutor over uh, Map. If I don't make two in if I don't make Day 2 in Ghent with Merktide, I'll try this deck on Sunday for the uh, Classic. I'll definitely not... I'll definitely play Pithy Needle. I love, I love him, he has to Pithy Needle. Stonework main deck. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, I saw it in the list and it makes sense. I mean, you got a second cling. I don't, I don't like Pithy Needle anyway. Um, sorry, Curse it told him anyway. I'll pull Pithy Needle. It is Oblivion Stone. I mean, yeah, it's been good. So maybe it makes sense. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching YouTube, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Bye.